Some New York City kids are not getting into school this September because that's the law. The law says if your kids don't have their shots for dangerous diseases like mumps, measles, and polio, they aren't getting into school. The law also says they must go to school. So you have no choice. Get your kids their shots. Call 349-2664 to get free shots now. Remember, no shots, no school. It's the law. Here's the other thing. Muhammad Ali supported vaccines, even doing a PSA encouraging them for New Yorkers in 1978. It is a strange world we live in. You my opposer when I'm on freedom. You my opposer when I'm on justice. You my opposer when I'm on equality. You won't even stand up for me in America for my religious beliefs, and you want me to go somewhere and fight, but you won't even stand up for me here at home. We're a man who actually gave up something in his life. My conscience won't let me go shoot my brother or uh, some darker people or uh, some poor hungry people in the mud for big powerful America and shoot them for what? Refusing the draft in Vietnam. And I'm in a minority in this country here. I'm, from, I'm are you? from England. Uh, and oh, I'm you're a minority. You're from England. You own England. You own England and America. You white. You can go anywhere in this city you want to go. Are oh, you from England? You're more free than me. You from England, didn't you say you're a minority? You know you can go to towns, move in neighborhoods, you can buy things over, you can open a business downtown Chicago and do business, and I can't do it, but you from England. A man unapologetically afraid. He's a disgrace to his country, his race, and what he laughingly describes as his profession. Of taking on white supremacy is somehow compared to Kyrie Irving. A man who refuses a free, safe, and effective vaccine because, per Matt Sullivan of Rolling Stone, Kyrie, per his social media history, follows and likes IG posts from a conspiracy theorist who claim secret societies are implanting vaccines in a plot to connect black people to a master computer for a plan of Satan. You see, all this BS started when Stefan Marbury, New York basketball legend, wrote on Irving's whack IG Live, Ali would be proud of you. I got a sore throat, right? You can't get your voice back. Take some Vaseline and swallow it. And it'll help you. Ali and Irving both took a stand. The difference between the two is that Ali refused to go take the lives of others in Vietnam, whereas Irving refusing to get the COVID-19 vaccine and implicitly influencing others to do the same is putting the lives of others at risk. The scenes outside Barclay Center showed just how chaotic it turned. This video, taken by press credential journalist Sandy Botcham, shows their efforts to storm Barclays Center. And guess who loved it? Uh, let's keep it with basketball. Protesters in New York City holding a freedom rally in support of NBA superstar Kyrie Irving of Brooklyn. John Matlin, organizer of a New York freedom rally, joins us now. I'm an unsung hero in healthcare, and Kyrie is a hero around the world through sports and entertainment. So this is just a very big picture of what happened to, to the everyday average person in a superstar format. So um, this is kind of a springboard to get the message out there in general that these mandates are unjust and are affecting everybody. That being Fox News who amplified and supported their actions. But just who exactly was in the crowd amplifying this storming of Barclays? Stand with Sadly, he's a familiar face. Sean Olivo, seen here, attacked a COVID testing center in New York City. He's a frequent visitor of anti-vax gatherings. When he's not there, 
He's here with pro-insurrectionist Senator Rafael Cruz and Joel Greenberg confidant Matt Gates, along with Trump ally Roger Stone. He's also a huge fan of Proud Boys leader Enrique Terrio. Olivo, seen here in a baby swing, is a MAGA rapper. Don't believe me? His line here is Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer, Moderna, I'm not gonna take it, no. We'd play it, but prefer sparing you from making your ears bleed.